Yesterday we participated in an event at Lincoln Center that uh, commemorated a little TV show that PBS did about um, the work that uh, we do in the prisons. And I want to get Jesse Malin to come up and join me on this next song. Because when I went to that, uh, that fine federal hotel, um, one, one of their less than luxury uh, accommodations, um, there was this new music that emerged, and it was called punk rock. And there was a band from England that was a conscious band. They were called The Clash. And they wrote a song about the fact that I had to go to the penitentiary and some other friends of theirs that had trouble with the authorities. And I thought it was a show of solidarity, you know, the brotherhood of musicians. And didn't think much of it until about three years ago when I decided to get a bunch of musicians together, Tom Morello, Perry Farrell, Eric Gardner came with us, um, Gilby Clark, Jeez, there was a ton of Don was. Handsome Dick Manitoba came with us. And we all, all went up to, uh, oh, good. Um, we all went up to Sing Sing and we put on this show and one of the guys that I brought with me was a guy named Billy Bragg. And Billy Bragg had the name of the song that The Clash had written about me on his guitar. It said, Jail Guitar Doors. And I said, that's interesting, Bill. And he said, oh yeah, it's an old Clash B-side. Wayne, have you ever heard of it? <laughs> I said, Bill, the song is about me. <laughs> Duh. And he, I mean, he said, well, what do you mean? And I said, well, what are the lyrics? He said, Roy, let me tell you about wine and his deals of cocaine. <laughs> so he started telling me about this initiative he had started in the United Kingdom to celebrate Joe Strummer's life's work. And that was to bring guitars into prisons for prisoner rehabilitation and call his initiative Jail Guitar Doors. And I said, you know, that's good that you do that in England, Bill, but I'm an American, I'm an ex-convict, and I'm a musician, and, and I've been an activist all my life, and this sounds like something I need to do here in this country. And he said, good, because I was just going to assign you the job. <laughs> so. I want to play the song for you that started the whole thing. Where's Jesse? Jesse's going to come up and help me sing. He's going to, he's going to actually sing the first verse. I mean, I admit I am an incredible egomaniac, but I'm not even egotistical enough to write this lyric. <laughs> We have another um, good friend that's going to help us out on this number. Um, he's known uh, in the world as a, a TV star and a movie star, but we know him best as a kick-ass drummer, Jeremy Piven. Oh! 